popularity I'm still f***ing boss, so it's a burden Everything I serve it like a bird like Russian, Dutch, and German Flow that make me nervous In that Tuesday wagon, 22 What is up all my guys and goddesses And welcome back to the channel It's been nothing but love, positivity, and happiness And that's on what? That is on period, my guess this um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to run a restaurant in The Sims 4. I know Dine Out has been in The Sims 4 for like forever at this point, but there are still people who don't know how to run a restaurant the correct way um, and make the most out of it like as you should. Therefore, I'm here to help you with the whole rundown of running a restaurant because it could be complicated, I guess, but like, you know, just to make it easier on you. So I got you and we're always getting new Simmers every day who are just now getting dine out in packs like that so i'm here to help you okay period so here i have a sim um his name is evan and um my husband okay my husband love evan i have a whole story with him and his wife and children and everything like that and um it's not an lp or anything it's just something i play off camera but we're gonna use them today because evan um is really good at cooking and he's always wanted to own a restaurant so here we are um so to get started you gotta have a sim right clearly with enough money to do it okay so, um to figure out how much a lot is gonna be you can go to the world um click on the lot and then it's gonna be like a house with sorry then it's gonna be like a house with an eye in it click that and you'll see how much the lot is and that's how much you need to save to get it so then um to go ahead and try to own a restaurant you're gonna click this own business thing over here and then you're gonna hit select an option and you can own a business. So we're gonna do a restaurant today. We're gonna go ahead and hit restaurant. And the restaurant I want is actually in Evergreen Harbor. So it is right here. It's called Walt's Soul Food Spot. And this is actually made by Ariel, Alexis Ariel. So yeah, wonderful. But this little eye I was talking about right here tells you how much the pricing is of the restaurant or of the place you wanna buy. So we're gonna hit that, gonna hit the check. And we're going to leave it as furnished. You can leave it unfurnished and then you can like furnish it yourself if you want more realism. Like if you want to go and try to buy everything for it, that is really realistic. And I would recommend doing that. That's super cool. But today we're just going to show you how to do this, um, how to basically get the restaurant and get it up and running and get it to your liking. OK, so when you first own your business or start your business, it's going to ask you to transfer funds to your business. Now you can transfer how much you would like to transfer to your business. And I'm going to just transfer the 10,000 that they're asking me to. So we're going to confirm transfer. And now you have 10,000 of your business funds for you to do whatever you desire. Um, and little thing that comes up. So you bought a restaurant. Now what? Owning a restaurant is hard work. Approximately 59.5% of new restaurants fail within the first year. However, with proper management, skilled employees, a delicious menu, and a little plasma sweat, and tears your restaurant just might succeed and you can go to lessons but i'm just gonna tell you to run down okay so this is oh sorry i'm gonna show you what it looks like with you know the whole shebang this is the restaurant like i said it is by alexis ariel super realistic super cool um love it, it looks really realistic it looks like a real good soul food spot you know them oh them hole in the wall they be looking so good <laughs> but yes love this and then i'm gonna show you the inside a little bit um like i said you can download this from alexis area i do not know how to make this go faster i should learn i should got the hours of open business hours and you know you can make your restaurant how you want it you can get one off the gallery or you can make it yourself it's up to you and these are the tables and things like that uh people were eating so clearly that's why it looks like that um but i love the realism in this restaurant like look at this period and then they order here don't mind the mcdonald's thing that thought be is eat period look at look i love this restaurant then we got the bathroom and you know if you the employees go back through that way well come back on the side of this right here and they get back through there so all right now that we've seen the restaurant and this is where they cook. I got two little things for them to cook so you can hire two chefs if you want to, um, but that's not how it comes. But anyways, yes, okay, we got this, right? We got the restaurant. Okay, so these are the stars. Basically, you the more reviews you get, the more stars you get, and the higher stars you get, the more people come in, yeah. So it says your restaurant's rating shows how well your customers like your restaurant. The higher the rating, the more customers will visit. Click on the view, shift, summary, slash last finances button to find out more. 
cool 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 so you aspire to get a lot more stars you aspire for your restaurant to be five star period then as the day goes on you get to see the customer accounts and the profits you've made from meals um this is what they're talking about so when you see your um stars and things like that um so you can look at your sales your cost of ingredients meal profits wages owed and in the beginning you're going to be owing a lot of money all right you're going to be struggling just letting you know you're going to be struggling um and this is how you manage your employees and this is how you re manage restaurant settings we're going to do that in just a second i want to talk about these perk points right here okay these lifesavers okay amazing so you have a couple of different ones that you can use while you're doing using it doing a restaurant and um it helps it genuinely helps so you have curious customers um these where you they'll ask you to recommend more stuff to them recommend dishes and stuff like them so you can recommend them higher price dishes that way you get more profit um additional waiters um ingredient quality options meal rush where you like get non-stop motherfuckers okay surplus harvest patient people an additional chef more uh curious customers another waiter inspirational speech you can you know give inspirational speeches to your um workers because sometimes they'd be like i'm not working no more like and eh, you don't get promotions and eh, like whatever um let's see fast eaters lower employee training costs i will get to this in a second ingredient discounts well-funded foodies oh what's this one i never used this one customers will more often choose the more expensive menu items period tidy tippers ingredient discount large well-managed lowers the chance of bad events happening on the restaurant while your stem is away so you can open the restaurant while you're away just a heads up um i like to be here um because uh, a lot of stuff be going wrong in the chef's hat uh, okay cool so those are the perks we can get and now we're gonna get into actually trying to run the restaurant okay so basically we're gonna manage employees so you get to hire one chef one host and one waiter um when you first start out like i said you can add those additional ones later so um my one chef you try to pick um based on their like skills i try to pick more based on their food skill than the mixologist skill because the food is key to me okay the food is key to me so i'm gonna go ahead and hire mr lucas because he has a very high food skill and my host has to look like somebody and they have to have good charisma so i'm gonna hire jace he seems like to have both higher and he looks like a normal nice looking him well jamari does too we'll hire jamari and then our waiter uh we're gonna make a woman be our waiter because i have the cutest outfit for this um <laughs> so with that being said i think i'm gonna hire tanika brown because she has a pretty high skill love to see it yep okay so once you hire your employees this is how you can promote them demote them or fire them you could do it this way or you can click on them and do it um but that's cool cool so now we're going to go to the restaurant options we can you can mark up your prices how you want to just so gain you a little more money than you normally would get advertising um you can do some advertising for days silver gold platinum diamond package you know they're all clearly the higher you get the better it is ingredient quality when you get those perks uh that i showed you you can you know mess with the ingredient quality you can edit the restaurant menu here and edit their outfits you can also do the the dress code or you can sell your restaurant um and you know that's how you confirm so what we're gonna do at this moment is we're gonna go ahead and edit the restaurant menu it's actually what i want it to be specifically but i just this is just how you do it um so i have a different couple beers here um we don't want orange juice here we don't want coffee here or did i make this like a brunch situation no i didn't um and we're gonna add some other drinks uh this is also really awesome if you have custom food and drinks in your game because you can add a lot more realism with that okay those are the drinks we're gonna add and then the food i have are a lot of custom foods but like burgers and wings and nuggets and chicken and things like that it's a soulful restaurant then we got a couple of like desserts we got peach cobbler and pies cheesecake well i don't think cheesecake works fruit cobbler don't know what that is peach pie love that fruit pie cake cool so when you get it to your liking then you're gonna hit the check you're good to go these are the outfits that they could wear i'm gonna change the chef outfit to 
this right here because it's a very casual type of ordeal um staff should be wearing this and the host should also be wearing this um the women i have wearing this little cute little outfit i think that's cute okay and we're gonna hit the check we're gonna open the restaurant and i'm gonna just show you guys how casual it can be um or how you know high how hectic it could be um so i'm just gonna change this outfit and as the owner all you really do is walk around and talk to people you don't really do nothing but we're gonna look our host is here look at him dressed for success today he gonna go behind the counter and go right there that's his job oh he didn't okay he just walked through the shit all right and this is my bitch with her little cute ass outfit on wait a minute okay nipple kind of showing but whatever it's still cute uniform bitch uniform <laughs> Not the bottle flying. Pick that shit up for the people come. Clean it up. All right. So as you can see, they have a star on top of their heads. This is what they're starting out with. They're starting giving, starting out with a three star. Now, how we treat them is how it'll go. Um, how fast we serve them and everything like that. Sir, get in your kitchen. But why? Why are we wait? No, Lucas, get in his kitchen. I could uh, show you guys what happens when you click on your employees. So you click on your employees, and it says manage them. Their name. Um, and once you hit that, then that's a lot of couples, a couple things you can do. Okay, cool. You could pay for training. Um, this is so that they can build their skills up and things like that so that they um, can be better at what they do. Um, you can request cooking speed. I could do, for, well, for him, carefully, normally, or quickly. And quickly could determine whether it's going to be good or not sometimes. I could promote him from here as well. We could praise him, which is good to praise your employees in real life and in here because they be like i don't want this shit to work quick and i'd be like bitch you doing some weird like for real and then check up on you could ask them like how they doing good great chill whatever making sure they good with the job because if they say i hate the job i want to leave then you know it's, your, it's, it's time for you to do some shit we can criticize them if they're doing terribly and then, or we could fire them or demote them if we promote them. We have our Tanika Brown here and we're going to actually um, pray for her to get, I mean, pay for her to get some training um, after work so that she can get some training because she, she needs some training. Hmm, training after my shift. Are you helping me improve or are you telling me, are you trying to tell me I'm not good enough? Either way, I better study hard. Bitch, you're doing too much. I don't have time for you and your shenanigans okay got them to sit down the waiter would go over there and talk to them all right so she's gonna go over there and ask them that you see they got those things on top of their head y'all um i'm gonna reset this over here but okay she asked they order let's see when you when you hover over your customers they get something above their head sometimes wow this place has some nice decor thank you thank you y'all y'all look amazing as the owner, you can come over here and you can talk, management, you can check on table, welcome, prioritize food, give them complimentary food, give table free dessert, or give them free drinks. So what I'm going to do is welcome them. We're going to welcome her and then we're going to welcome her as well. Just give them a little welcome. This also boosts up their stuff. Not too many people coming right now. I understand. Y'all don't know me. <laughs> Y'all don't know me yet. We're going to welcome hi and then it says oh wait all this attention from the owner is making me feel really special beautiful love that for you management oh okay she's walking away i'm gonna um check on the table make sure everything's going good i know these sims like to get up or down out i don't know what we're going on just checking to make sure you're getting the service you need oh good good the man is okay we got 68 dollars deducted because that's how much the food was to make i'm assuming therefore once they pay they you know they weigh and everything after they eat we should be good to told you boom so we got 152 but only 84 was applied because we had to pay for that meal you know and you know it gets better the more people come in here um we're struggling it's one in the morning like you really not gonna get that many people at one in the morning <laughs> But I just want to show y'all how it genuinely can work. And we could come over here. We could give them free drinks. We could give them a free dessert. Or we can give them complimentary food. We're not going to do that because we ain't got no motherfucking money. Okay? We ain't got no money, honey. And while he waits, you know, normally if the waiter is or the waiters are having trouble with like 
cleaning things up. He could help, you know. We're gonna go over here and talk to Jamari and check on Jamari. Uh, praise him for getting them seated so fast. Uh-huh. And we are going to... Oh, we ended with a four. They gave us a four star. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, and then we are going to pay for him to have some training as well. Oh, okay. Hurry up and then talk to your customers, sir. Come on, ma'am. Finish picking up all your stuff. Look, we got more customers coming at one in the morning. We love it. Wonderful. I try to be a model employee and it looks like my effort is paying off. Yes, it is. Okay. Um, he had the same. Uh, where are you going? Lady. My Sims on crack today. <laughs> my Sims are on crack today. Why are you going out there to mop something? They are on extra crack today. I don't know what's going on. So he's going to go sit them down again. The, the You know, the thing just repeat. And these will be the last people we serve. And then I will close the restaurant and then show y'all what you get at the close. But I love this restaurant. It is so nice and so just ooh, black love for me. I'm all for it. Um, so just a couple tips on key, how to keep this realistic for yourself. Oh, he answering the phone. Love that. Um, how to keep this more realistic for yourself. Try to make a set time for when you're gonna open and close your restaurant. Okay, so like if you know you want your restaurant to be a nighttime, like late night type of restaurant, then make sure you know you try to open it during those times and set or set aside time for your sims to do that. And you know, it's like their night job or whatever. And if you want like a more, you know, breakfast type of ordeal or brunch type of deal, you know, time it, time it the right way and close at that time. Try to keep it that consistent. That's how you keep it more realistic as well. I'm gonna walk away because I'm all in their face. <laughs> and also don't forget to pay attention to your employees you know that's very 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 important when it comes to this restaurant thing um to pay attention to your employees and make sure they're happy and you know satisfied and all of that jazz and also if you're going to use custom food make sure the food makes sense to your restaurant i have a soul food restaurant therefore i'm gonna have a lot of chicken and collard greens and stuff like that in my restaurant if you're gonna have a more fancy restaurant then do that Looks like he's there leaving with a four star. She didn't even finish eating, sir. But we got four views. Our stars are going up. The more stars you get, the more your stuff goes up. Um, we were open for only six hours and we got four people in those six. Well, we could have had six, but whatever. Um, our sales went to $287. Cost of ingredients was $129. Meal profits, $158. Wages owed. We owed seven. I mean, we owed $90. Advertising cost. We didn't do any advertising net profit $68 and these are the customer reviews we've gotten so far personal touch try interacting with your customers more they'll appreciate the owner's attention we did that already meal quality try training your chefs to level up their cooking skills make sure they're able to properly prepare your menu and ambiance your restaurant inviting decor makes it to talk, makes it the talk of the town wonderful and since we sent our two employees jamari and tanika to training their skills have boosted up. He's got a level three comedy skill now and level three charisma. And she has level three and level three fitness, both. Um, the fitness is so that they don't drop the food, guys. Okay, just to let you know. And the charisma is, you know, when they're talking to them. Um, and mixology influences the quality of drinks. And, you know, his gourmet is level, level one, level three. That's fine. And basically, you just get a rundown of your restaurant. Running a restaurant is super duper easy, guys. Once it's closed, everyone goes home. You could clean up the rest or you could wait till the, the customers clean up. But we're going to just clean up everything. And then once you go home, you go home, boo. Okay, guys. I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video helped you guys learn how to run a restaurant. Um, especially if you were very confused about like what you were supposed to be doing, how to make it successful, things like that. Like I said, tips. Um, make sure you set a good time for your sims to do this. Um, and also if you're the owner, try to be there in the beginning, like for a while, you need to make sure your sim is there to be able to, you know, make sure everything's running smoothly and things like that. You can open the restaurant from home without having to be there, which is using the same menu, um, that we use to get the restaurant. So that little own business thing, you can just do that and hit open and it'll open while you're not there. But I do recommend in the beginning of you having a restaurant to always be there, be there. Okay. Be there so that you can make sure everything runs smoothly because if you're not things can go to shit very fast um 
And lastly, have fun with it, guys. Okay, have fun with it. Make it as realistic as you possibly can for your gameplay and go with that and make it the best thing possible. All right. Um, I think that's all the tips and tricks I have for how to run a restaurant. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. And if there's something you just can't figure out um, or something's not working right, join my Discord. Because if you join the Discord, you know, I can answer your questions a little faster or answer them a little more intimate where we could literally get in... Um, like a streaming thing I have and literally try to look at what the problem is. So if you have ever have any questions about any of the things I teach you guys how to do, definitely join my Discord and ask those questions. Um, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, but thank you guys again so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit that bell notification to notify every time I post a mother freaking video. And I catch you guys in the next video or live stream. Bye! My haters give me clarity and popularity. I'm still Balls, it's just a burden Everything I serve it like a bird Like Russian, Dutch, and German